What's up guys, Random Andrew here. How's it going today? A little something different for you guys. It's been a while, I haven't done a review of any vape gear, e-cigarette gear, vaporizer stuff. I will say this right now, disclaimer, this is not for the younger viewers, though there's no swearing, cursing, or anything. This is a review of a e-cigarette product, a vaping product, so some might hold it closer akin to smoking. No, there is a legal age for use of e-cigarettes, vaporizers, in whatever region or district you live in. I'm not going to say which one because I know everybody watching is from somewhere different. So, please check into that and note that all, everything to do with this is regulated and governed and you got it by the government. But when it comes down to quality products, it's always by the users or either somebody in the vape shop able to inform you about it. In which case, today, I pick myself up one of these. It's by Inokin, Inokin, and it is called the Plex. I'll dive right into it, we'll unbox this, and then I'll check it out in front of you guys. I won't say it's going to be the first time, because I'm going to want to give it a little bit of use after I fill it, and kind of get a feel for it before I say what I think. Now before we get underway with unboxing this and setting it up, it's kind of something I haven't done in a while, so I figured it'd be really interesting to show you guys, but show you my current setup, and right now, first thing I'm going to point to you guys, point out, if I can get a focus, is you'll see around where the atomizer meets the vaporizer, you can see a little bit of e-juice sitting there. I just recently wiped it down, not to mention, this is what the coils currently look like. Can we get some focus in here? Hang on. Doesn't help that my lighting's totally... Yeah, for some reason, things just don't want to cooperate. Anyhow, these are standard Clapton coils. I'm still using... Oh, what's the name of that cotton? I don't remember the name cotton. Damn it, hang on. cotton bacon there you go and I've been using a dripper for a few years now and I think it's time now the technology has bumped up its game to move it up to a tank again and try last few times I've tried tanks always been leaky so let's get having a look at this here this is by the way the name of this is by Inakin and it's the Plex yes I actually had to look Talk to Brandon at Bad Fish for a few minutes to decide between the two. Of course, I went with the cheaper. Right away, you can see it's a really nice looking. I love the blue. It's kind of like the blue, the discoloration, right when certain metals get to a certain temperature. Let's attempt to focus again. Yeah, my lighting isn't helping me any bit right now. But what sold me on this isn't the design or the style necessarily the tank it's the coil style I've never had one like this before you guys see inside of there we get a good focus going again maybe it's probably because I have it zoomed so far in but anyways that's the best I can get for you for now it's a different style of coil altogether they said they will be stocking these coils so that's pretty cool that's always something I you have to look into when you're looking at a tank whether the coils, if they're pre-manufactured, whether rebuildable, whether they're going to supply them. So right away you see nice big reservoir. Top opens up. I haven't even played with this yet so bear with me. It is a nice slide top and it's nice and like it's got some good resistance to it so it's not going to accidentally slide open. Nice big airflow same with the airflow. Not too stiff, but it's not too loose. Easy adjustability. So filling, adjustability is pretty easy. Disassembly comes apart just like so. Oh, it's got a different looking coil in there right now. Can you guys see that all right? Let me get this glass out of the way glass is just pressure fit in the bottom but of course as soon as you thread it all down it all comes closer together pretty groovy 
so it's got a triple coil to start with and this one it says Scion 0.13 ohm, 82, 110 watt. And then this coil says on it, Scion, 60 to 110 watt, 0.15 ohms. So they're a bit different, not just in construction, but ohm range. And then I imagine just, just as easily unscrews but I'm not gonna take it all apart like that right now and then reassembly and the same size top and bottom yeah okay pressure fits kind of stays in place and then she threads all back together no cross threading nice and snug and that's about when I fill it up now I got me some of this uh, Snap Crackle Pond by Badfish. Not Snap Crackle Pop, Snap, crack, snap Crackle Pond. And I'll fill it up here with you guys. You guys get to see the first fill of the tank. And of course, it'll have to sit and let all that cotton saturate. I should probably have read the instructions to make sure I'm not messing it up. I'm only going to fill it part way to start with. There we go. Now I'm going to let that sit before I put it on my vape and fire it up. That's a good spot right there. Now with this not only, um, I'm going to find somewhere else to put it. So with this not only am I getting a spare glass, I'm getting the extra coil of a different style. But I also get a little baggie full of goodies. You can see extra O-rings, rubber O-rings, the rubber piece for the top under the filler. And then also you got an assembly sheet right here. And I could have sworn there's also an instruction booklet, but yeah. There you go, the Plex from Inakin. Well, as you guys seen, I filled it about halfway, and this is about how much I've vaped out of it so far. I'd say about a quarter of a tank, maybe an eighth of a tank through it. Check this out. The flavor is unreal. After vaping the same style of Clapton coils for about a year and a half now, to switching up to this new style of mesh coil, I really enjoy it. Mind you, I'm only at 60 watts, and this coil calls for higher. So, and yeah, just so you guys know, I'm using the IPv3LI, and my batteries are kind of weak. So, going up to the full recommended setting, my batteries are dead in no time. But even at 60 watts, this thing is awesome. I like it. I think I'm going to like this as preferred to a dripper. It's going to be cleaner. So far, no leaks cross my fingers that's why I avoid tanks normally but I like it one more one more haul just for the camera and just for anybody who's watching that's getting cloudy in here anybody who's watching who is unfamiliar with these products no this is not something that gets you high or gets you stoned it's a safe cigarette alternative uh, I've been away from cigarettes for well over three years now, and I quite enjoy vaporizing the e-juice. I vaporize at six milligram nicotine levels, and it does me just fine. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Inokin Plex that I picked up from Bad Fish Vapor here in St. Thomas. If you're curious about quitting smoking, go check out your local vape shop. If they'll tell you anything you want to know. Find a juice you like, find a product you like, stick to it, avoid the cigarettes, you'll be better for it. Think positive, stay positive, keep a smile on your face, we'll see you again soon. Vlog over. Review over.